Well, you definitely have to love the sounds of Monolio Studios. And the man behind uh, that great sound is Clive Monomukundu. And just before we get more into Clive's world, that is Jar Praiser featuring Luciano Roots. Uh, some great reggae music right here on the station SFM. And it's good afternoon, Zimbabwe. Welcome to your genuine talk radio station in the land SFM. And we're broadcasting live from our Parker's Hill studios right here in Highlands Harare. Time check, it's half past 12. And in case you're wondering who the voice behind the microphone is, my name is Merchanda. And uh, don't touch that dial. And I'm crazy, but you like it. Loca, loca, loca. What's up, y'all? I'm Beyonce. Why don't you let me tell me baby. What's up? This is Pink. Hi, I'm Christina Aguilera. The hottest music on the planet plays right here. <laughs> Yo, 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 Nothing beats uh, great reggae music. But nothing is as disturbing when you don't have a plan B and uh, everything seems to be at a stop. But like Clive Monomukundu says, Hapana plan B. Hapana plan B, sure. Yeah, there's a story behind there's always a story behind everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, if you are just joining us this afternoon, this is your E to the Beat. Welcome to your genuine talk radio station, SFM. And I just want to welcome our personality of the day. He is a Zimbabwean award-winning guitarist and producer and one of the most recorded artists in the country. Having featured in over 700 local and international albums, I played guitar for virtually 
most of Zimbabwe's music legends. I'm talking about the Oliver Mtugudzis, the Thomas Mafumos, Andy Brown, you name it. The man has produced for many artists. But we have in studio, drum roll. <laughs> Clive Monomukundu. Clive, how are you? Welcome. I'm okay, Monica. Good afternoon, Zimbabwe. And uh, you're not a stranger to SFM. I mean, we love you like that. We always love having you in studio. Yeah, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. So, in the background there, Trutera, the song uh, from your album uh, Chronicles of a Rough Journey. Yeah. And, um, Hatina Plan B. Mm. Hatina Plan B being one of the songs that chronicles your journey in music. Yeah. And for many, many listeners out there, they are they're great fans of your music, uh, great fans of your your production because you produce for a lot of musicians out there. But let's talk about a bit about your journey in music, uh, Clive, before we get into the crux of the matter here which is your book launch yeah okay um this song is about um the journey that i moved with um friends of mine most of them have passed away um if you listen to the lyrics uh, when we started um, when we got into the music industry, we thought it was going to be easy. Was you go over and my newspapers, you turn up a TV, you go from the house, you go to studio, and then you go to the popular, you go to the bar. But um, the journey was tough, so basically, that's the message behind that song. There's always a message, mm. and um, like I mentioned earlier in the introduction, you have featured, I mean. Over four, uh, over seven hundred local and international albums, and worked with Olivam uh, Tukudzi, Thomas Mafumo, uh, Andy Brown, and in that journey, your musical journey, what are some of the aspects that you tapped into from some of these legends that you've actually incorporated in your own musical career? Um, I think the artists that I worked for a longer time and uh, who I learned a lot from is uh, Olivam Tukudzi. Um, I learned a lot about um, discipline on stage, discipline off stage, um, how to maintain your reputation, how to to, to 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 make the crowds go wild, everything about the music industry on and off stage, even the business side. I learned a lot from from Oliver Mtugudz. And uh, besides learning uh, so much from some of these legends, I know we, we always say mono, mono, um, Clive Mono Mkundu, but um, me, most of us don't even know where the mono part came in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so tell us the story. I mean, h- how were you nicknamed mono? Okay, uh, it's there in the book, but um, I used to have a single dreadlock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, I was working with a group of guys who had dreadlocks in sort of ways, and I was the only one with a single dreadlock. So we used to call it a monologue. So that's where the name Mono came from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know how it is with the my nicknames, they always end up um, being more known for uh, your own real name. So that's how I became Mono. And the guitar, your love for the guitar. I'm left for the guitar started as early as around uh, five years old, table because uh, I was just fascinated by the instrument. Every time I saw someone hold the guitar, I'm to roll out to Tazo Gatsgan. So it's something that started when I was still very, very young. So I think um, it was in the in God's plan to put a guitarist. So I just followed my dream and I'm happy. So I Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes to 1 o'clock and we have in studio Clive Monomukundu and he's our personality of the day and he will be launching his work this Thursday and it will be one of those uh, most talked about uh, events if you're not invited mm, wasara. <laughs> wasara. everybody's invited <laughs> 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 I know that is very, very important people, whether VIP, very important people, then IP, important people, then P, people. <laughs> but, uh, There's people. So, we're going to have a VIP, and a VIP chat. So, everybody's a VIP, so everybody's invited. Everybody's invited. Yeah. Let's talk about the book, the book launch. But, mm-hmm. um, 
there's so much uh, we want to to play on the station there's so much of your music and um i do understand uh, chronicles of a rough journey is the main focus uh, album uh, which actually chronicles your journey into into music and where we're centering the discussion on and uh, why the book launch is happening yeah. so there is one uh, one other track um from that album, uh, Chronicles from a Journey, track number one, Manja, when the music stopped. I mean, when did the music stop? How could it stop? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was, uh, it's a story about uh, what used to happen every time after the gig stopped. was Pateriza Magdare, when we started show painting a pair of paper. My fans are going to be a lot of people who are going to be a lot of people who are going to be a lot of people who are going to be during the show, everything was fine. She nagged them, found that she screamed and everything. But when the music stopped, the pay wants to my problems. Reality checked in. Yeah. It'll come in your face because, hey, guarantee, I'm going to five friends. Hey, come, you can't go around and talk about my apartments, which is nice. That's the message in the song. But at that time, Tantis and I'm a bond, Queen, Tantis and I'm a friend. We had Zim Dollar. Yeah, Tantis and I'm a Zim Dollar. Mm. But it is the Rayfire. Right Rayfire. Mm, but it is Shandy Ramans. Which one would you use? The, 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 the dollar, like 50 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents? Yeah, I think I think my 50 cents is equal, but even get a man. Okay, oh, let's word. take a listen to when the music stopped. <laughs> even uh, imagine the journey that you went through and I'm listening to the lyrics uh, Mono and um, like after the music stopped like you were saying after the show stopped uh, and everything said and done uh, you have to walk miles and miles Yeah. and you were just mentioning Kuti, you'd walk like uh, for instance uh, distance here with Alkuna Kwadzana Exactly. into town yeah. and for a lot of people who know exactly uh, you know where Kwadzana is I mean that's that's more than 15 k's yeah uh, we used to... Uh, t- 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 used from, to track 15 Ks. Yeah, maybe it was good exercise, but more that's why it's not whatever. Okay, yeah. but even, even though there was uh, this challenge where, you know, you had to walk such distances, there were other challenges that came with the career. For instance, uh, you were mentioning earlier, we were talking as the music was playing, the payments. 
Yeah, uh, the payments were, were always a big problem, although it's better these days, but still the problem is still there. But um, these days, I think uh, the music industry has developed a lot and uh, things have uh, developed. But uh, Panama, uh, Panama developments are better, but um, during the time, there were a lot of uh, payment issues. Sometimes, uh, I remember the other day, we had a combined show with a popular group in Zohara Sekwa. After the show, the money was good, but the bigger band said, uh, you know what, Isu, we've got a bigger name, so we can't share the same amount with you. And I remember the Tapizeta, a small amount of money, Kewiti, something like $10 each, but uh, we had made my thousands. So I'm going to my discouragement. Usually in the music industry, you find it worldwide, not only in Zimbabwe, worldwide you always face uh, certain problems. And I think it's because Maran has to do to elevator to success. I'm going to do my steps so that when I was a bad throw, I'm going to go to the first floor, I'm going to go to the second floor, I'm going to go to the third floor. So you know when you can experience it, you can help other people. And you started at 17. You actually started your musical career at 17. And uh, with some of these uh, challenges, you you actually pinned them in your book. Let's let's start talking about the book. I know we are not wanting to preempt a lot of what is in the book because we want people to come to launch. Yeah. But why? Why the book? Why now? Um, I've noticed that in Zimbabwe, musicians have got, uh, they don't have a writing culture and they don't have a document a documentation culture. Uh, you find in the States, Munangweta Kambiri Mbichana, not on a book, but on a documentary film. But in Zimbabwe, we've got great artists like uh, Safiro Mazikati, uh, John Chibadura, James it's Chimombe. Nice. We don't have a single book about those people. Atanama uh, documentaries are... We've got a lot of um, musicians and uh, singers who were very active. Uh, even before independence, people like Wana Manu Kambani, Wana, uh, Wana Jethro Shasha, Wana Elisha Josam. All those people were great musicians, but they, they are, there's no documentation. So you find out, you know, Pesirango Ora culture, you know, Mango Tara Nemuromo, I don't know if Manu Kambani, I don't know if Zino, but there's no... There's no video footage, there are no books, there's nothing about it. Um, that part of history is in the So, in this, uh, Papa Pakulonja, this book, I'm just hoping that I will also uh, inspire other musicians to write their, their things down. Because uh, those things, they will also help the next generation. Like in this book, I was not just chronicling how I moved in the industry and all the struggles that I faced. I was also pointing out how artists can avoid certain mistakes that I made and uh, also how they can uh, avoid certain problems that I was facing during the during the struggle. But the chapters in your book, mm. these are all very important to you. Yeah. And um, there is also the chapter, let's talk about your family. I know a lot of the time uh, when people embark on a certain career, they always need support, that kind of support. Mm -hmm. Do we have a chapter in the book that also chronicles your family? Yeah, I, I do have. Uh, there the, the, the are areas where I mention my family, then my family um, where I'm married. And um, the family side... The, Any scandals? <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of them. Uh, in this book, I was not diplomatic. I was not diplomatic because I know a lot of musicians, when they talk about their um, journey, they try to hide certain yards and yards. Um, you know, everything is there, including all the STIs. I'm the draw to a fan. It's there. Everything oh is there. <laughs> so it's not diplomatic at all. I'm not trying to cover up anything. Everything that that I went through. No holds there. barred. Yeah. That's Clive Warren Kundu for you. And um, he will be launching his book and it's a chronicle of his journey his yeah. musical journey and uh, for many of us we have grown to love uh, his music and uh, the music that he produces and uh, some have been inspired some have been motivated to go into music practice but like Clive says like Mono says 
he wants people to learn from some of this documentation so they cannot make the same mistakes that he made mm. and some of those mistakes are probably shacking up in some place kwa manindi kwa manindi kwa manindi kwa manindi say hotel that we stayed um, in mutare in, in 1991 We were based at the hotel with the group at Chikoko for one year. And um, we faced a lot of problems at that um, hotel. Uh, we were based there with the full-time band that used to play every night at the band. We faced payment issues. The money that we were paid was so little, we couldn't even afford to to rent individually. So I think we got a test of band. We were able to rent individually one single band. We were able to rent individually. Yeah, we were able to rent So basically what if everything else was like you read it in the book but uh, that's what used to happen at Nyamandi the hotel. Come in the hotel and like he says everything will be captured in the book but there is a track there's a track about Kwamanin uh, Kwamanindi Nyamandi <laughs> Nyamandi and it's such a tongue twister Mono <laughs> you're killing us here Kwamanindi hotel Nyamandi hotel Kwada ai in Dangamvura eh Dangamvura mm. it was called Dangamvura hotel Nyamandi hotel <laughs> Let's listen to this one <laughs> <laughs> no wonder why it's the chronicles of your journey. Yeah. But documenting, that documented evidence, uh, you really stress on that uh, why musicians need to have that culture of uh, documenting, which which also makes me wonder why is it that we don't even have uh, some artists having my manager vama uh, turina ni my email address i mean have you come across that yeah i found email address was i remember one day i was at uh, zimura one artist came to register his music and they asked him the can we have your email address and they were saying ah ndo garapa na ba 44 mna mkono no And the girl was saying, no, I mean email address. And he was saying, I don't want to know. So he didn't even know the no, no. email address. Email address, she, my J. Yeah. So we had to explain to him, no, she knows the email address. It's like a mirror, so so it is to do the internet. We need to know that I'm going to start on a Facebook page. I'm going to start on a YouTube channel. There are things, uh, there are a lot of musicians. I'm going to start on a Facebook page. I'm going to Facebook page. I'm going to start on email address. I remember one. I mean I don't do the Facebook was need to but um Facebook can uh, go to internet just like banga chero some people use it kure one but we can say that chero mapanga no ti pano na go pano muna no zwa ka ore ne banga ona so i think musicians need to be educated by the the documentation the social media because if i not even when foreign um, promoters um, are looking for artists to promote if you apply 
they, they also check your, your your internet presence. They want to check your Facebook page. How many fans do you have on Facebook? How many fans do you have on your, your, your YouTube True. channel? But um, a lot of my artists, they don't even know that stuff. So okay. I think we need to educate uh, Moeduti. You need to document your stuff. You need to have um, my biographies. You need to have my documentary films. Can offer, we, we have something to, to, to talk about you in the evidence. Could have oral history and got in the not oral history yeah and uh, the way you put it across uh, you know every time mono comes into studio i'm always cracking up i mean he actually puts across uh, some of these points in a very he, diplomatic way but in a very humorous way Th that humorous streak uh, you're naturally funny mono <laughs> so <laughs> if you are not a musician would you have gone for comedy uh, comedy is scary because comedy can be any music. Because with music, you can repeat the same song and people love it. But comedy, you can't repeat the same joke. You know, I couldn't hit jokes like music, you hit songs. So I think comedy, I think, it must be very tough. I mean, to another culture, I think it must be very tough. Very tough. <laughs> but you are still standing. Yeah, and um, there's uh, one track I'm still standing in Chronicles of Your Journey, the album. Yeah. And because uh, we're just wrapping up this conversation, as we just uh, put momentum to your book launch, um, for the benefit of the listeners, I'm still standing. What's yeah. the message behind this track? Um, yeah, before I say anything, the launch is there on Thursday. This Thursday, there's Marble College of Music from 6 o'clock, so everybody's invited. Yeah, okay. On the song, I'm still standing. Uh, I was talking about um, a number of my friends, uh, they ended up giving up uh, the music industry because of the struggles that we were facing. So uh, I'm just thinking, God, I'm still standing. Still standing. 29 years teaching Gorimo. And that's 29 years and counting. Yeah. Clive Monum Kondo. And uh, been playing some of the tracks from one of his various albums. It's uh, Chronicles of a Journey. And really appreciate the support yeah. he's given the station. Really support uh, all your endeavors, Clive. Thank you. And very we much. really hope the launch will be a success it will be full of laughs so we hope there won't be any scandals as well <laughs> otherwise it will be a sequel to this book maybe mm. we might have another book on the scandals <laughs> <laughs> yeah this will be this will this won't be the last book it's my first book there are more coming more coming yeah and on that note clive is still standing i'm still standing mm -hmm. Well, 
ya maputi kuzere na maputi mangai wana jifunga tuma snakes hapa ito ni sapa look live we wish you all the best and you're still standing we certainly hope the launch will be successful and tenge tiri ko CSFM thank you very much and that was of course Zimbabwe's celebrated producer music producer musician and he is uh, a man to reckon with a force to reckon with and uh, really appreciate how he's documenting his journey chronicles of the journey of Clive Monomukundu he's launched this Thursday don't miss it my name is Mo Chander stand by for good afternoon Zimbabwe This is the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation, SFM. The time is 1 o'clock. It's time for good afternoon, Zimbabwe. It's over to you, Butler.